Who am I? I'm Stefan Pretty. I am uh, Scottish and I'm the CEO and founder of Subly. And Subly is a five year old bootstrap startup and we process millions per year and have a, the pleasure of working with thousands of subscription businesses, big and small. We're going to talk about how to create a subscription product, uh, how to use the survey builder to collect uh, customer data, and also do build a box style subscription businesses. Uh, also, I'm going to show you how the website builder works really quickly. Uh, it's a new website builder. And then I'm also going to show you how you can add the Subly checkout to any existing website. Now we're, I'm going to show you quickly the new website builder. I'm just going to show you quickly how easy it is to use. So basically you can change like the, 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 the padding, the margins, uh, the, the columns, and it's drag and drop. So it's fully drag and drop. So I can go in here and I can add, just drag a button into here. Uh, I can move this button to the left and I can delete this button and can, et cetera. So, in, you know, you can preview it in mobile, tablet, et cetera. And also if you go to the dashboard, you can set up your domain in here, uh, upload custom fonts, set up your UI kit, et cetera. And also there's a blog section as well. So just wants to give you a real quick overview of that. Um, on how to use that website builder. If you have an existing website, here's an example. This is a, web, a website actually powered by Weebly. Um, this, uh, if I click the subscribe now button, you'll see that this widget is opening up. This is embedded on this Weebly website. And this, um, this is really easy to do. I'll show you how you can do this. But if you do get stuck with this at all, just feel free to ask your support um, who are more than happy to help you with this. Uh, this is quite a popular choice. Uh, to do this if you've already got an existing website. But as, as you've seen, our website builder is dead easy to use, but extremely powerful and flexible as well. Okay, this is the dashboard for Subly. Um, so down the left-hand side, you have the main navigation to get to all the different sections. Uh, at, at the top, you have some notices and uh, you know important uh, information or, or actions that are required. Uh, you have your account management at the top right and a help section where you can go and get some help if you need it. Um, you've also got the support widget at the bottom right, so there's two places to get help. Um, and you've also got the overview of your key metrics. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a subscription product. So you can get here from going to products and then new product and then choose a subscription product. For the purpose of this uh, webinar, I'm actually going to pretend that uh, I'm running a coffee subscription box uh, or service. So I'm just going to call it a coffee box. And then I'm going to leave it enabled because I want customers to be able to purchase it. And I'm going to just fill out the basics quickly here. So I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to find some coffee beans. And upload. Okay. And you can upload multiple images just as an FYI. And then if we go to the billing and shipping terms, this is the most important part. And it requires uh, your attention because I'm going to cover three popular scenarios and cases. Uh, which will cover most of, uh, I think, even all of the functionality that is possible inside of Subly. I'm gonna, I want all my customers to be renewed on the first of the month. So I'm gonna choose the first, and then you'll see some other options have appeared, and then this example uh, calendar on the right-hand side. Uh, so I'm gonna fill this out and then explain what they mean. And then now that we've done our billing and shipping terms, we can mark this as complete, and we then go into additional settings, and we want this product to be able to be purchased as a gift, and then there's some shipping information. The, if there's additional shipping information you need to provide that will appear in the customer login area, then you can add it in the shipping information box here, but I'm gonna leave it blank for now. And then last but not least, there's this fourth step where I can choose a survey. And uh, I'll talk about that next. Okay, so that's it. That's how we create a subscription product. So as the customer goes through to buy that subscription product, they will be asked to go through the survey. So you can configure the survey however you want. You can ask multiple different types of questions and you can use that information to fulfill their order to personalize it for them uh, to also offer upsells you can also allow to do a build a box type of subscription um, so i'm just going to show you what this looks like i've built a, an example one here so we've got um, the coffee one blonde medium or dark roast i'm going to choose medium i hit next and then i can choose what sizes and how many of each size of bag i want so I'm going to put two six ounce bags and one one pound bag. And you'll notice it says four pounds each and six pounds each on each of those. 
Uh, and you'll see that down here, the current total is actually increasing as I remove and add uh, options. And then the last question here is just a free text input where I can just put in like Facebook or whatever. So on the back end, that looks like this. So these are those three questions. And I can just, I can drag and drop to change the order of those questions and it changes it in real time.